Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo here. Going to do something a little different we hadn't done in a while. And we're going to review a car here at Parkway RV Center. This is a tow car. Uh, this is something every once in a while I get an opportunity to buy a vehicle already set up to tow behind a motorhome, such as this one. And here it is, guys. A lot of logic to buying a car like this already set up to tow behind your RV. It's going to save you money. It's going to save you time and trouble and you already get one that's ready to go. So this particular one, guys, is a 2003 Saturn. This is the S200, which is kind of the mid-size Saturn. Still a smaller car. It weighs about 3,000 pound dry weight, but it's already got thousands of dollars worth of hitch equipment already installed, ready to go. It's the L200, I'm sorry, the L200, not the S200. Got 163,000 miles, of course, it's been towed a lot. Got a hitch on the back, which is ideal for a bike rack. And here's the thing, guys. About a month ago, a buddy of mine, I can't remember if it was it as a, toy, a new Toyota Camry or a new Honda Accord, went and had all the same stuff put on his car, and he spent almost $3,000. And it took weeks to get the tow bar brackets because of COVID. But what made him sick was, and a lot of people don't realize this, let's just say you got a $40,000 new car or like new car, year or two old car. Here's the thing, guys. That, that $40,000 car, more than likely, they're going to have to cut into the bumpers to install your brackets. So that's going to hurt the value of your car. So, A, take your expensive, nice car and put all that stuff in the bumper tearing into your car hurting the value for something you're just going to tow behind your rv a few times a year or b buy this car for not much more than what you're going to spend converting your current car have a car just around the house for when you use your rv you don't have to wait weeks for the tow bar brackets everything's there it's got a blue ox tow bar system it's ready to go already got the light set up and everything and have this car and just use it when you go RVing. For, I mean, the car is easily worth what I'm asking for it with or without the tow bar brackets. Air's ice cold. It's a one owner car out of Florida. Has a clean Carfax. Had one accident history back in 2009 in Florida where somebody rear ended it. Less than $1,000 worth of damage. So, not even hardly worth mentioning. 163,000 miles, guys. Of course, you don't have any of those miles are towed. Runs and drives great. It's got almost new Michelin tires with nitrogen filled tires. Michelin. So, fact is that the previous owner liked this car enough, thought it was a good enough car to put Michelins on. It says a lot. And, you know, it's $49.95. Interior's clean, it's smoke free. Car runs and drives great. 2.2 um, .2 liter four cylinder, 135 horsepower, I believe. So there's no powerhouse, but it'll get you down the road. It's uh, MPGs, it was 21 city, 29 highway, if I remember right. And you know, who knew, you know guys, 49.95 for something to tow behind your motor home. And plus, you know, there's plenty of times you might need an extra car around the house. Let's just say your main car has to go to the shop for some reason. That way you don't have to rent anything. You've got a spare car. I'm be Believe me, guys, I've got six cars in the driveway. I'm a firm believer in having a uh, extra vehicle around for when you need it. Power windows, power locks. Let's look inside. Seats look great. Cloth seats, no rips or tears anywhere. Radio's factory, so some kid hadn't had it and put some booming stereo system in it. It works. CD and cassette. Wow. 163, 752, good old pressure. Windshield. Sorry, I got the sun hitting now on us. Windshield looks great. Um, got the remote entry. Owner's manual, all that good stuff still in there. Power windows, locks. Headliner looks good. Back seat doesn't look like it's ever been set in. Trunk looks good. 
the dash is not cracked or anything like that we just drove the car up from florida so we drove it over 500 miles no problem looks like it's missing the little cover that goes right there on the inside of the door it's gonna look like this right here and you might get that or it's probably not worth messing with but like i said guys it's just a cheap, inexpensive car, even if you don't need it to tow behind a motorhome. This is something, if you got a kid needs a first car or something that still gets good mileage, something cheap on insurance, here you go. And the good thing about it, guys, all Saturns have electronic transmissions. They are designed, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> designed to be flat towed without the motor running. So you can actually tow it even though it's an automatic without the motor on it and we'll show you how to do that when you pick it up if you're going to tow it back but um i mean this car's not beat up it's actually a decent decent little ride for the money and like i said it, it depends on I'll show you the trunk this thing's actually got a big trunk you know we've got a saturn view that we've towed for years here at the lot one of our tow vehicles and it's been great Got a nice blue ox tow system. Big trunk, you can see. Anyway, guys, $49.95. That is an absolute firm price. Believe me, I'm making like I'm making less than five hundred dollars on the car after dri after driving it up here. But I figured, hey, somebody wanting to buy one of these big diesels or our gas motor home, buy this to go behind it. I mean like i said you're gonna have to cut on your new car and spend about three grand buying all the stuff and then waiting weeks for the brackets or for a couple extra grand you can buy a, a extra car with all that stuff already set up and um something you can use so you know it's a good deal for those of you who are wanting to use it for a tow car a lot of life left to it and also on the carfax which i'll be happy to send a copy to anybody who wants it shows all the service records this thing's been well maintained since it was new and like i said it's a one owner out of florida air's ice cold wheels tires everything about it looks like it's supposed to like i said i seen that little piece on the inside looks like a little piece of plastic trim right here and i'm just pointing this stuff out guys i'd rather you know about it from me than than drive a few hundred miles to get here and see it and that little plastic trim piece is missing Looks like they've stuck an aftermarket tin on it, which is, you know, being from Florida, that's nothing unusual. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Um, give us a call if you're interested, 706-965-7929. 2003 L200 Saturn, 163,000 miles. Tow equipment already installed, ready to go. Hook and book, guys. Almost new Michelins, cold air, good sound and stereo, interiors in great shape. Not bad for under $5,000. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Feel free to give me a thumbs up, comment, share it on social media. Thank you again for watching. Look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.